824 is The Whale, directed by Darren Aronofsky, starring Brendan Fraser, Sadie Sink, and Hong Chow. Review one of the year 2023 for the Beniverse, and welcome to the Beniverse. Hello, my name is Ben Friedman here from the Beniverse. Welcome to 2023, and to kickstart this year, let's talk about The Whale, which stars Brendan Fraser, Hong Chow, and Sadie Singh. The Whale is directed by Darren Aronofsky, a director who has done such films as Black Swan, Noah, Mother, and Requiem for a Dream. The Whale follows a college professor named Charlie who, after experiencing tragedy in his own personal life and leads to him binge eating where he becomes a weight of 600 pounds, realizing that his life is nearing an end, he decides to make his life right. This is the big comeback project for Brendan Fraser, an actor who has been gone from Hollywood for a while due to some personal reasons about harassment that he faced in Hollywood. Brendan Fraser returns in this role as Charlie, the 600 pound man. And the interesting thing when going into this movie, The Whale, is I found myself really wanting to like this movie. I am a huge fan of Brendan Fraser. When you read that GQ article that came out about him that explained what he had faced while in Hollywood, it led to the ultimate comeback story. You wanted to read for this guy. I've had friends who have worked with him who have said he is nothing but delightful. I've heard nothing but great things about Brendan Fraser. The other side of this, though, is I am not a Darren Aronofsky fan. I have struggled to like his movies. I can appreciate aspects of them, but I do find them often too on the nose. Aronofsky is a director who rises and falls with the script. There are scripts that he has done, like The Wrestler, where he is able to really bring the humanity of that character to life. There are other scripts that he has written, including Mother from 2017, which I find to have just gone completely lost. He has no idea or handle of the film, and it becomes torturous, it becomes visceral, and it becomes violent and ultra disturbing without purpose. The Whale is somewhere in between those two projects. There is an aspect of the whale that carries a lot of empathy due largely to the performance of its leading man, Brendan Fraser, as this character, Charlie, along with a supporting cast of Hong Chao as his nurse. And I believe those two characters really bring the most out of the whale. When they are sharing the screen together, I believe that they are able to channel an empathetic movie, one that cares for Charlie. Then there's this other side of the movie, which follows Aronofsky's cynicism. There's a mean-spiritedness to this movie, and that is where I find the movie to be painful to watch and not in any way that I found rewarding. Aronofsky seems to be enjoying putting the character of Charlie in miserable situations, to have him essentially be an animal on the zoo for audiences to gawk at. That is the lens of which I thought Aronofsky directed this film. The introduction scene of which we meet Charlie involves him pleasuring himself only to, for him to have a heart attack in front of a missionary who is coming to visit him. That is how the film starts off, and that is the level of which Aronofsky is interested in. The pain, the experience, the torture that the character of Charlie puts himself at for being 600 pounds. I never found Aronofsky's direction to be empathetic. There is no subtlety in this film, in fact. Everything is on the nose, from the Moby Dick references from Captain Ahab to the biblical references in this film. Thus, when I was sitting in the theater, experiencing the film and contemplating the screenplay, I found myself thinking, why is this film treat me like I am dumb? Why does this film not just allow the symbolic nature to take over? There are direct passages from the Bible put onto the screen that are very on the nose. And sitting there, I was becoming so frustrated in the screenplay because it really felt like I was being talked down to by Darren Aronofsky and Samuel D. Hunter, the person who wrote the play of which this screenplay is based upon. Brendan Fraser is able to elevate the material of the whale 
expertly. It is such a beautifully timed performance. There is so much about this performance that is given in the eyes. He is able to emote so much. When he goes big, it's really powerful, especially in the third act. That's the scene that you watch in The Whale and you think that's the reason why Fraser is going to get nominated and could very well win. This performance is captivating to watch. This best performance in the movie though, I think is Hong Chao. She brings so much humanity to this role. Her character is much more complicated and nuanced than anything else in the film. Her relationship with the character of Charlie is wonderful. However, while these two performances are good, I struggled with the performance given by Sadie Sink who plays Charlie's daughter in this film. She is supposed to be a rebellious teenage girl whose father had abandoned her at the age of eight. Thus, she has grown up not knowing her father, and then when her father tries to reconnect with her, she is not having it. The issue that I had with the daughter character is the daughter is so mean-spirited. She is so cynical. Thus, when watching the film, I felt like we were jumping back into this juxtaposition problem that I mentioned where Aronofsky and Frazier are at battle within this film. There is one that shows the empathy and care for Charlie, a film that actually understands him as being as human, and the other one that is made to gawk at him, be disgusted by him. Sadie Sink falls in the ladder where she is sitting there, and she is so cruel to everybody, and it's such an unrealistic portrayal of cruelty. They are making it sound like she is a character with a rough past and thus she doesn't know how to have friends and Charlie is trying to find something good of his daughter and show her how much she is valuable. But the issue with this is the daughter is not just a punk. She's an actual literal sociopath. It is so mean-spirited. So much of this film is the character of Charlie trying to redeem himself but I never found the need to redeem himself when the daughter is so just the way she is. The whale is shot entirely in an apartment that is far too dark. There is literally no light in there, thus it is not framed in any way that is cinematic. The whale very much did feel like a stage play, where I am in one room with all the characters and they are having dynamic conversations. Yet the way that it is framed and staged by Darren Aronofsky never got me engrossed to what was going on. Now I understand that there are aspects of the whale that are very much tied to current religion and specifically current Christianity and the way that they view gay people. I understand that you cannot remove that from the film without removing what this film is about, but the issue is Aronofsky takes it even further. He brings in a Christ allegory. He also mixes that Christ allegory with a Captain Ahab allegory, but also Captain Ahab and the whale are the same person in this film, and it just becomes so muddled and confusing. And it ends up feeling like a bad English paper. That is how I ended up feeling about The Whale. I felt like I was reading a book for high school and I was sitting there and I understood because it was so direct and yet it was telling me, never showing me. And that's where The Whale fails. I am so glad that we get to have Frasier back on the big screen, including this year where he'll be in the new Martin Scorsese film. I am truly excited for that. I am so glad that this performance in particular of his is being singled out for praise. But outside of him, outside of Hong Chao, I vehemently disliked this movie and I felt the film trying to make me cry. I felt it trying to emotionally manipulate me and I never got there with this film. I never felt particularly emotional about this story. I really wanted to like this movie and while I respect aspects and think certain aspects are worthy of its praise, I think Darren Aronofsky's direction gets so in the way along with a convoluted screenplay that I did not like The Whale and I cannot recommend it. I am giving The Whale 1.5 out of 4 stars and honestly those stars are solely due to Frasier and Hong Chao. That is my review of The Whale. Let me know what you thought of The Whale. My name is Ben Friedman here from The Beniverse. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye bye.